Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Sickle Bros. If you've been following along on the channel, you know that it's me, my brother Quinn, and my brother Alec that makes up Sickle Bros. In today's video, we're going to be showing all of our aquariums. We've had a ton of new tanks, fish, and updates, so we're just going to combine it all in one video so you can see the tanks that we currently have. We're going to start here with my tanks. I have a 180, a 75, a 38 gallon tank, and also a koi pond. My brother Quinn has a 60 gallon planted tank in his apartment, and then he has four classroom aquariums. And then we'll finish the video with my brother Alec, who has a 125 gallon predator hap tank, as well as a 15 gallon planted tank and a quarantine system. If you've been following along on the channel, you know we've upgraded quite a bit and we have a ton of plans to do more of that. So if you like this video and you're interested in seeing some of that new content coming soon, make sure you hit that subscribe button and Let's dive right in. Alright guys, so we're going to start here with my 180 gallon South American Cichlid tank. It's been doing really well since we set this up about a month ago. I'll put a card to that video in the upper right hand corner. So this is an acrylic tank that holds my South American Cichlids. I tried to set up a natural biotope with brown sand, driftwood, rocks, and plants. My Severums, Acaras, and Geos basically destroy any types of plants I put in here. So I went with these plants from Elite Cichlids and I really like the look of them. I might try and grow some Pothos on the top of the aquarium just to help with the nitrates, but that will be a future video. I have three Severums in this tank. This is Big Red, he is the tank boss, but he's mostly peaceful so it's been great. I also have a red shoulder Severum that's just on the verge of coloring up, but once he does, he'll be one of the showstoppers of the tank. Then I have a group of seven Geophagus Tapajos, and they're really starting to pop in color. A lot of red on the heads and blue and red in the fins. They school around together. They're really active. Just a great fish to keep overall. And then I have two electric blue Acaras in this tank that I've already formed into a pair. They swim around the tank together the entire time. They've also been a lot more aggressive lately. It seems like their breeding behavior is starting to pick up, so just something I'm keeping an eye on. It would be really cool to see these guys breed. And then here's the smallest guy in the tank, the Keyhole Cichlid. Super peaceful, just like Jerry here. This is my Satanoparica Jirupari. Awesome fish, so underrated because they're so peaceful. I do have a ball of shark in here. It's not a cichlid, but it's an oddball fish that I personally love, so I had to keep it. And this is just the group eating. I love watching these guys eat with all the interesting behaviors and sand sifting. It's just a great tank that I couldn't be happier with. So now moving over to the 75 gallon aquarium which has recently been restocked. I'll put that card in the upper right hand corner as well. The new guys are doing great and they seem really healthy. I can't wait to watch these guys grow and start coloring up. My tiny little Oscar is eating a ton already. He's going to grow super fast and he'll either have this 75 gallon aquarium just to itself long term or in the more likely scenario he'll move over to the 180 after I have some time to watch him grow and see his aggression level, all of those things. This Gymno Geophagus looks great even at a young age. I also have a chocolate cichlid named Bigfoot who is lurking in his little rock cave. He doesn't really come out a ton yet, but I think he's really acclimating to the tank and starting to get some of that color back. Alright guys, so I know in our last video we asked you to help us name our Oscar and looking through some of the comments there's a lot of great ones, but we ended up going with Nessie. Since we have Bigfoot, our chocolate cichlid, it makes a lot of sense just to have Nessie as our Oscar. And then the last tank down here in my basement is not set up right now, but the 38 gallon here is in case I need a quarantine tank, a breeding tank, and it's in this storage room that would actually make a really good fish room. Say what? 
like I mentioned earlier, a lot of exciting things to come. And finally for me, I have a koi pond in my backyard that I restored once I bought this house. The main update for the pond is that I dealt with a huge algae bloom and basically turned the entire pond green. The koi were fine, but I added a UV sterilizer and the green completely went away after about a week. The koi are doing great, they're just small and they're hiding in and out of the caves. They're going to grow very big, very fast, and I can't wait to show some of that progress on this channel. So that does it for me. I'm going to kick it over to my brother Quinn so you can see his aquariums. Hey, what's up guys? Quinn here. For those of you who don't know, I am a high school biology teacher and I have four classroom aquariums. So not only is the classroom a great place to have aquariums, but it's also so rewarding to share the hobby with my students. So starting off with the 75 gallon, this has always been a tank that I'm most proud of, mainly because it holds my favorite cichlids. The OG of the cichlid bros is Jack the Jack Dempsey. I inherited this fish from a teacher that unfortunately passed away just before I got hired at a new school. I'll leave a card in the upper right hand corner if you want to learn more about that. To go along with Jack, I have a Green Terror, a Salvini, and a Convict. If you know anything about these fish, they are all super aggressive New World cichlids. However, they seem to balance each other out well, and there haven't been any major problems in the past year and a half that this tank has been established. Moving on to the classroom favorite, Felix the flower horn and the 55 gallon. Felix has grown like crazy in the past year and a half. Felix is actually a female, I did not know until she laid eggs, but the name still stuck. She has tons of personality and is a great classroom pet. Now moving on to the temporary 29 gallon housing a juvenile Jack Dempsey and a few giant Danios. This tank is ready to be upgraded to a much bigger tank next school year. The young Jack in this tank is from the same gene pool as the Jack in the 75 gallon and is already showing extraordinary color. This guy is ready to be a showstopper once he gets into his forever tank. Lastly, my 20 long is currently empty during the summer vacation. However, I have big plans for this tank once school resumes in the fall. Be sure to subscribe to see how those plans play out. I cannot wait to be back with these tanks full time once school resumes. All right guys, so now that we're done checking out my classroom tanks, I got one more tank to show you that's in my apartment in the city of Chicago. Now to my 60 gallon planted tank in my apartment. I have a mix of Neon Tetras, Odessa Barbs, and Harley Ken Rasporas. The plants are really starting to grow in nicely now that I had the CO2 system set up. In just a few short months, I've seen incredible growth in this tank. The Monte Carlo carpeting plant is starting to spread across the bottom, which is very exciting. 
I cannot wait to watch this tank grow. Well, that's it for my tanks. Time to pass it on to my brother, Alec. Thanks, bros. Last but not least, the third cichlid bro. My name is Alec. And if you've been following along with my channel, you know I got a 125 gallon Predator Hap tank of African cichlids and a 15 gallon column planted aquarium. Lately, we've really focused on the new setups at the new homes of my other two cichlid bros, Troy and Quinn. I'm very excited for the growth of their setups as well as mine. So I'm excited to show you what we have in store for my basement fish room here. The space that I have down here, you can see there's a lot of it, a lot of room for possibilities with new tanks, which I am definitely looking forward to trying. But first, let's give an update on the current setup, starting with the 125 gallon Predator Hap Lake Malawi African Cichlid Tank. This tank has just continued to grow. I bought these fish when they were no more than an inch and in a 55 gallon tank and you could barely spot them, they were so small. And now they are maturing into their adolescence and it's a really fun tank to watch even though they have not really colored up yet. We are patiently waiting on that. But I wanna share with you just how certain fish are doing. My biggest fish here is my Malawi Gar. You can see the Lynch Necromus Acuticeps. He's actually colored down a bit recently. I think as other fish have started to grow and assert some dominance, but he has shown a very blue face with some teal and purple coming in, in the body, and he is going to be a beauty. My next biggest fish is the Buchochromus nodotania, who has grown to about four inches. I should have mentioned my Malawi Gar is about five inches. These guys are real tough to film, but you got some blue and teal coming in for the nodotania as well, and it's real exciting stuff. Next, I'll spotlight my fish with full color, the Cyanochromus friar eye looking great, doing well. Another big fish relatively in this tank is this Malawi hawk, which loves to show predation or his unique behavior on this Malawi trout here who has not grown as much as the rest. We got the Phosphorochromus rostratus about three and a half, four inches. Nimochromus fusquitaneatus, who I swear is gonna pop with some color very soon. He's just really growing well. Back here we have the Demetriochromus compressiceps, Malawi eye biter. He has also continued to grow very well, developing some nice shape He's gonna be pretty awesome. So future plans for the 125 gallon Predator half tank. Um, I have, I believe eight or nine, can't remember which number it is, um, already in here. And I do plan on getting a couple more. Um, I have one already waiting in quarantine that I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of. And we got a video coming shortly and he will be added in there and maybe one or two more sure to share with you along the way as well as the development growth size and coloration of these guys moving on to my next setup this is my 15 gallon column aquarium it's one of the more awkward setups because most fish like a lot of side to side swimming motion so what I did was I really wanted to test out my planted tank skills and the jungle valve that I went with has really been thriving. It has been propagating like crazy. And I chose jungle valve because they grow real tall and they will really fill the top of the tank. Originally we had about 15 cardinal tetras in here. And um, unfortunately my sump pump failed in my basement. And 
my floors all had to be replaced. Good news is I got nice new floors that I really like. Bad news is there was a lot of movement and stress for my Cardinal Tetris who developed ick and I could not shake it. So they did not make it. In their place, I went with a cichlid, because we are the cichlid bros, and an epistogramma, which I'm very happy with. Got it from Aquarium Arts. We'll do a spotlight on him shortly, but he's been really fun. Seems to really enjoy the tank, and he's just a beautiful fish. Lastly, for current setups is, I'm gonna flash you my quarantine setup that I have here with my brand new Predator Hap. I got a Hap in here that is probably going to be my second largest fish and probably the most color, and he is awesome. And I can't wait to share it with you when he gets out of quarantine. We will publish that video and do a little spotlight on him and how and why I set up my quarantine system. I got my 15 gallon here, TV, and 125 here. Now, as far as future projects, I really wanna utilize that corner, maybe set up a two tank system in that corner, maybe even a rack, who knows? Um, but the possibilities are endless. I could do a tank right next to the 125, another Nano. All right, so in closing, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a closer in-depth look at our setups and getting a little update on all of our tanks. There are a lot of big things coming for Cichlid Bros, so Make sure you hop on board now if you haven't already subscribed. And if you have already subscribed, um, be on the lookout because there's a lot more coming. And we'll see you next week.